Since season two, the Formula E rules have allowed teams to design and develop their own rear suspension, so there are now a number of different variants in use. We're going to look at a typical independent pushrod setup used on all cars in season one. Machined uprights house the rear axles and connect the upper and lower wishbones at the outboard end. Each side can move up and down completely independently of the other, transferring loads through the pushrods. Sitting on top of the gearbox are the dampers or shock absorbers with interchangeable springs mounted over the top. They support the weight of the car and control the weight transfer under braking and acceleration. The settings also determine how it handles the lumps and bumps of a typical street track. Machined rockers connect the shocks to the pushrods and transfer the vertical load seen at the wheels into the horizontal forces managed by the dampers. High quality needle roller bearings ensure the rocker rotates smoothly even despite the enormous and violent forces acting upon it, allowing the engineers to accurately measure and fine tune the car's setup. Also attached to the rockers are links connected to the rear anti-roll bar, the only part of the suspension linking both rear corners of the car together. The anti-roll bar is fully adjustable and allows the team to manage the roll or how much the car leans in the corners. Getting the whole lot set up to suit your car, your driver and of course the circuit is the key to unlocking the fastest lap time possible. For weekly Formula E videos, click subscribe on the left hand side. To watch the next one, click the icon in the centre and remember to hit the like button and leave your comments down below.